The universe is supposed to follow rules. Gravity pulls things together, nuclear fusion powers stars, physics sets hard limits on what is possible, but scattered across the cosmos are stars that should not exist at all. Some are too big, too hot, or too old to even be here. Yet telescopes keep finding them. These are the stars that laugh in the face of physics, and their very existence forces scientists to question everything they thought they knew about the universe. Imagine discovering a star so old that it predates the universe itself. That is exactly what happened with HD 140283, also known as the Methuselah star. This star sits just 200 light years away, making it practically in our backyard. And when astronomers analyzed its chemical makeup and brightness, they came up with a shocking number, 14.46 billion years old. Problem, the universe itself is only about 13.8 billion years old. For years, scientists thought this must be some kind of mistake, but they kept doing tests that gave the same impossible result. The leading theory now is that their models are slightly off, and the star is younger than it looks, but even with corrections, it still comes dangerously close to being older than everything around it. If Methuselah's age is right, then our entire understanding of the Big Bang timeline could be wrong. In the Tarantula Nebula of the Large Megalanic Cloud sits R136A1, the most massive star ever discovered. This thing is about 265 times the mass of our Sun, and it shines nearly 9 million times brighter. The thing is, according to physics, a star this big should not exist. Once a star reaches around 150 solar masses, the pressure inside becomes so extreme it should blow itself apart. Yet R136A1 is still there alive and burning. Astronomers believe it must have formed by merging smaller stars, but even then it should not have lasted long. Every time telescopes point at it, they're basically looking at an astrophysical paradox. If our equations about how stars work are correct, then R136A1 is breaking them. Stars are supposed to be made of hydrogen, helium, and at least some heavier elements created by earlier generations of stars. But when scientists discovered SMSS J0313006670839.1, try saying that one time fast, when they found it in the Milky Way, they were stunned. This star has almost no heavy elements at all, meaning it should not exist according to our models of stellar evolution. The leading explanation is that it's one of the very first stars ever formed, what astronomers call a Population II star, born just after the Big Bang. But by all accounts, stars from that era should have burned out billions of years ago. This one is still here, quietly existing where physics says it shouldn't be. In 2015, astronomers noticed something bizarre about a star in the constellation Cygnus, KIC8462852, nicknamed Tabby Star. It was dimming and brightening in ways that made no sense. Sometimes it would lose up to 20% of its brightness, which is far more than what dust or planets could account for. For years, wild theories flew around, from alien megastructures to giant swarms of comets around it. And while the alien idea has mostly been dismissed, no natural explanation fully make sense either. Dust clouds and gas might account for some of the flickering, but the irregular and dramatic dips still make Tabby Star one of the weirdest stars ever recorded. What if I told you that somewhere in space there's a star made almost entirely of diamond? That's BPM 37093, also known as Lucy, after the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky, Diamonds. Located about 50 light years away, it's the crystallized core of a dead white dwarf star. The problem is, according to our understanding, carbon cores in stars should not crystallize this much. But Lucy is basically a diamond 10 billion trillion carats in size. Astronomers say it's proof that white dwarfs can turn into cosmic gemstones as they cool. It should not exist in this form, yet it does, sparkling silently in the darkness. Back in the 70s, two scientists had a strange idea, that maybe a dead, super dense star called a neutron star could somehow end up inside a giant living star, known as a red supergiant. It sounded like science fiction, and for years no one had seen anything that fit the description. But then in 2014, astronomers found a star called HV2112 that didn't match any normal category. It looked like a red supergiant, a huge aging star. But when they studied the gases in its outer layers, they found a weird mix of elements that didn't make sense, stuff that red supergiants don't usually have. One possible explanation, there's a neutron star buried inside it. 
If that's true, it would mean that long ago the neutron star got pulled into the red supergiant and got stuck there at its center. The intense heat and radiation from the neutron star could be stirring up the surrounding material and creating those odd chemical signals. If true, this would totally break our usual understanding of how stars are born, live, and die. It would mean stars can actually merge in ways we didn't think were possible, like one star hiding inside another. In 2017, astronomers observed an incredible X-ray source in our Milky Way. It came from a type of neutron star called a pulsar. But the weird thing was, this pulsar was beaming energy so bright, it was outshining entire galaxies. According to the laws of physics, a neutron star can't release that much energy without collapsing. Yet Swift J0243.6 plus 6124 did exactly that. It temporarily became what astronomers call an ultra-luminous X-ray pulsar, defying all predictions. To this day, no one fully understands how it avoided self-destruction. This one's tricky. Astronomers found an object called Ogle 2016 BLG 1190LB. They didn't see it directly. They found it using something called gravitational microlensing. That's when a massive object passes in front of a faraway star and its gravity bends the star's light, kind of like a magnifying glass. It lets scientists detect things in space they wouldn't normally be able to see. Anyway, what they found was something with about 13 times the mass of Jupiter. That's the exact cutoff scientists use to separate really big planets from small stars. If something is smaller than that, it's considered a planet. Bigger than that, and it usually starts fusing atoms and becomes a star. But, but this object is sitting right at the dividing line. It's not clearly doing either. It's not shining like a star, but it's way too big to be a normal planet. Some scientists call it a failed star. Others still argue it's just an unusually massive planet. Either way, it doesn't fit cleanly into any category. And it challenges how we define what a star actually is. At the very core of our galaxy is Sagittarius A, a supermassive black hole. Around it orbit a cluster of stars that move at crazy speeds. The most famous is S2, which comes so close to the black hole that it completes an orbit in just 16 years. Here's why this shouldn't be possible though. At that distance, tidal forces from the black hole should rip the star apart, but S2 and others like it are still there. Scientists don't understand how these stars form so close to a place where physics should tear everything apart. It's like watching someone dance on the edge of a volcano without falling in. Finally, there's RxJ1856.53754, a neutron star just 400 light years away. At first, astronomers thought it was normal, but when they measured its size and temperature, they realized something was very wrong. It was too small and too hot at the same time. If it were the size they measured, then physics says it shouldn't be emitting the type of light it gives off. If it were the temperature they measured, it should be much bigger. Some scientists have even suggested it could be made of exotic matter, like strange quarks, something that doesn't exist anywhere else in the universe. Whatever it is though, RX J1856 is not easily explained. I've been your host James, and I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.